my role at Avalist is basically coordinating the business and engineering efforts. My title is VP of Technical Operations, um, but that's just a fancy way to say I do engineering and I do business. So um, I work as a development resource, as a software engineer, writing code for the product, developing for the website, and then I also assist uh, Jody, the CEO, with um, meeting with business contacts, investors, things like that, basically mm -hmm. just correlating a lot of the business goals, the vision, and um, values of the company um, with engineering solutions. Um, I've worked at companies before, and sometimes management has a hard time talking to engineers, and vice versa. So I like to think of myself as the go-between. Yeah. Okay, Someone cool. who knows how to talk to both. What do you think? What are you guys working on right now? Um, yeah, we've got a seemingly endless number of things on the roadmap. Jody always wants everything, and she wants it now. A couple things we've got um, right now is an improved version of Listit, basically the uh, bookmark that you can put in your browser so when you're browsing the internet looking at um, articles or pages or blog posts and you see a list anywhere on the on the internet whether it's a recipe or a list of Forbes billionaires or whatever it is mm -hmm. some format of a list you can click your list it button and it'll pull that content pull that list into uh, into your Avalist profile which is a really cool feature um, saves a lot of copy paste and things like that and we've obviously seen you know the share buttons, the tweet buttons, the pin it buttons, those are all integrated now and very, very successful. So we're trying to help content creation be something that's easier for the user to do. Um, we're also redesigning and revamping some of the profile pages um, and basically just constantly wanting to be updating our look to make sure that it's easy, intuitive, but also sleek and chic for the uh, just the look and feel of the site. So most companies most visions for for products all stem from a problem solution, you know, um, type of uh, type of question. And, and you know, I think the same is true for Avalis, The problem of information overload, um, search engine overload everywhere, and uh, like I've even stopped ignoring that number that Google says we found six million seven hundred seventeen thousand. It's like, well, thank you, Google. I'm not going to look at all of them. I'm going to look at a few. I want my search results, my information organized. So I was to try and organize that, while at the same time making it relevant and relatable to your social circle, people you know, people who have done things. Um, you know, I have friends who have traveled, I have friends who are in really cool um, jobs and careers, and they have expertise and information about that, and Avalis is a place for them to share it, and um, for me to basically benefit from all the experts I have in my Okay. Oh, right. I'll just Google it right. and like follow the steps and then whatever I forget how to do it because yeah. you're not are you really retaining that you're not retaining it and here's the reason why um, if the brain understands that it has basically access to information it knows it's 30 seconds away one Google search away from any given set of information so it's no longer valuable for your brain to work on retaining that on, on building on building those memories obviously if you do something enough then it gets um, worked into into your long-term memory, but short-term memory, um, and you could say for better or for worse, we're basically killing ourselves because we can learn and find out anything like that. So you know the mind's just like, okay, well I'm not gonna remember it if I can just if I can just look it up. Um, so it definitely has. It's really interesting. It's changed the way that we learn, and you know, there's double-edged sword of we have access to such a large amount of information, data knowledge on everything, but we're retaining so little of it. So it's, it's an interesting paradox.